In the ancient Roman world, there are many sad and tragic chapters. Among those tragedies is the birth of little baby girls. If they were not wanted because they could not carry on the family name or inherit property, then they were just placed outside the home on the doorstep to be taken away by wild animals. Sometimes they would be picked up by people who ran brothels and they would be raised as prostitutes. At other times, they would be sold as slaves, picked up and then sold as slaves. But that all began to change. And it began to change by a group of people that began to go out at night and pick up those little baby girls. And they would take them back to their home and raise them as their children. Or perhaps they would find another home that wanted a little baby girl and they would give that little girl to that particular home. They built alms houses. This group of people built orphanages. This group of people built infirmaries where those little girls could be cared for and protected. Do you know who that group of people was? I'll tell you, and I bet you're ahead of me on this. It was Christian people, Christian people just like you who picked up those little girls and raised them as their own. Christian people just like you who helped build infirmaries. Christian people just as you who helped build orphanages. Christian people just as you who helped to build hospitals. Christian people just as you who had a love for God in their heart because you realized that God has the heart of a loving father and that love was expressed in the caring of these little baby girls. Christians have done more to improve this world than any group of people ever before. It's Christians just as you and just as I who have committed ourselves to honoring life and to knowing that all life is a gift from God. It needs to be protected and needs to be shielded. Don't let anyone ever marginalize us and tell us that we are unworthy and unneeded and useless. Without a Christian foundation, this world and this country would never have survived even to this point. And it can be made even better yet through Christians, just as you and I. Thanks for watching Don Howell with today's Light and Love from Liberty.